Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about what delegates are. Um, before a few days I didn't actually know what a delegate was. So, now that I do, I realized that they could have saved me a lot of time while programming. And they're a pretty awesome thing to know, just in case you need them. Now, to declare a delegate is going to look exactly like a method signature, but with the delegate keyword. Um, just before I show you how to de declare a delegate, I want to also tell you de that they can actually be declared anywhere you want. So, they can be, be declared in a method, in a class, or even in the na namespace. For our purposes, we're going to declare, them in the, declare it in the namespace, but I just want to show you that not many things can actually be declared in the, in the namespace. If you see, you don't really have any of your normal data types, so yeah. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We're gonna make it a public delegate, so public. Oops. Public delegate. The return type of the delegate, we'll just make it void. Um, now the name of the delegate we'll just call it my method. Oops, my method. And we won't put in any input parameters. And that's declaring the delegate there. Now we we're, we're gonna create an object of that delegate, so we're gonna type in our class we're gonna type in my method. M and we'll set it to a delegate. Here you'd put in any input parameters that your delegate needs. In this case, nothing, so we'll just close it. Then you would open the curly bracket and type in whatever you want. In this case, we'll just type in Z console dot dot right line. M oops cold oh, yep. and that we actually get, I'm just gonna copy and paste a few of these actually this one we'll call it M1 and I also want to, sh to show you that you can set a delegate to an existing method watch I'll create a method with the same method signature as this delegate. So we'll go public void some method. No input parameters and in the method we'll go some method, I mean sorry, z console dot right line. some method now we're going to create a new object of my method and set it to some method we'll just call it m2 oops this should be called m1 and um, we'll set it to some method Note that I didn't put in the brackets after some method because we are not actually calling the method, we're just setting it, we're just setting its reference. Okay, I just wanted to call these methods now. So we'll go m dot, actually, we'll just call m like a method, call m1 just like a method, and m2 just like a method. I'm just going to set up a property for set one of the properties for the form so it's easier for me to explain this dot topmost I'll set it to true anyway let's run this program and let's see what we have here so we called m first yep it's a this is our delegate M, 
sorry, my method m, and when you call it, it writes m called. So we called m first, then we called m1, and when you call m1, m1 gets typed onto the screen, and then we called some method, and m2 is a reference to some method, and when you call some method, that gets typed onto the screen. So there's that. Just gonna stop it now. I wanted to show you guys one other other thing. That a delegate can actually be passed in as a method um, input. So we're gonna type in a new method. So public void pass l and we'll type in the name of our delegate, so my method m when a method gets passed into my method we are going to write something on the screen, so it's e console dot write line it'll be m dot Uh, method dot um, I'm just trying to find a suitable thing that we can type onto the screen method handle um, We'll just type in the name. I know I've tried this before, it looks a bit complicated, but how oh, you guys will understand because you guys are awesome, I guess. Um, we'll just get rid of these and type in pass del and we'll pass in our methods. So m. M1 and M2. Now let's run these and we hey, get this on the screen. Now the first two um, delegates that we've made, so the M and M1, they don't really have a proper method name so I don't know, Visual Studio just made this for us. But the third one which is M2, it is set to some method and some method has a name, which is some method, and so I typed that onto the screen. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.